Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 101 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castle Meister. We have scenes to view, so let's get to it. Today I'm going top to bottom instead of cutest to least cute. Alright, within the castle we've got our residents holding simple weapons and wandering around acting like they're trying to use them. What's up with them? Uh, maybe they have plans to go fight some monsters or something? I wonder if they need any materials or, or equipment made. If they did, they could come to our company for it. Ah, but no. They're actually preparing for self-defense purposes, actually. So, they're thinking that they can't always be relying on Navarro and company. So, when it comes down to it, they want to be able to fight as well. So, that's the story. <laughs> uh, this kid will fight too. He's going to protect his family. Uh, good luck with that, Squirt. But he's got this proud smile on his face, so... Hey. Well, being protected all the time, and only being protected, really gets to you after a while, you know. Old man. Well, there was the stuff that happened while they passed through the Dragon's territory and all. If they had been prepared earlier, it would have been... Well, you know what mess happened back then. And furthermore, the regular watch, that is all of the knights, also have their equipment handled by the company when it's broken as well, right? Well, yeah, that's within our job. Well, perhaps you're taking on too many responsibilities all by yourself, is what he's saying here. Oh, okay then. Thanks, everybody. It's good having such reliable people about. Well, they want to protect their own homes here. So if they can go help, then they want to do. Well, Sorry, everybody, but thank you. Basically, sorry for not being f perfect in our protection job before. So, in this house we call Gualarcuna Castle, it's not just of our own company, but everybody wants to support us. How nice. <laughs> Okay, Mikshuana. So, Mikshuana has a, a store, has a talk to give to us with regards to her duty as the managing member of the few of the Mazteria faith within the Fiuspia region. Abaro. Oh, so she has this discussion regarding the current state of affairs. So she's thinking that the Masteria Church would like to give some information to the Influus Kingdom again. Information for Influus. 
我ら精鋭衆と衝突したということは推測しているはず Well, by this time, with the Gualacuna Castle, Gualacuna Castle passing through Mortione Castle, then Influs must have speculated by this point that the subjugating flames, that was Mikshuana's unit, remember, came into conflict with our castle. But any more than that, Influs probably doesn't know anything about. Well, yeah. Thinking about it normally, that means that the our castle here was able to knock Maasteria down. Yes. But in fact, we have a lot of strength to be a strong strong strength. Yes. But in reality, the fact that they're cooperating with the castle at the moment, probably at some point, some people are going to start realizing it. So they're going to dramatize the information they give a bit. But if we, if they, Provide information to the kingdom, then their movement of their army against us will be slowed, is what she's considering. Ah. This is kind of how the quote's gonna go. A monastery is taking responsibility for the disposal of the existence of the taboo. Influence's army does not need to move, and they simply need to watch the situation as it is. End quote. Kaket sareru ka wa gen jiten de handan dekimasen ga, jouhou wa taeru koto de, jousou bu no kette ga skoshi todokoru de shou. We can't say, say whether they will approve that request or not, but at the very least, giving them this information will. Cause the higher ups in Influence to at least spend some time deliberating it. Yeah, I see. So by giving them this information, we can confuse them a bit, huh? Well, thanks for that. But is that all right? If we give them too much information, it could backfire and let. The connection between Monastery and Gualacuna become known. Sono kano se wa aru desho. Desu ga, nani yori mo juyou na koto wa, shinkyou no sandu e tsuku made mo, sentou kaisu wo kyokuryoku herasu koto. So that possibility does, of course, exist. But, what we want to do most of all is to get to the God's Haze with as few battles as possible. So at the moment they're in the same boat in that the castle being attacked is a bad thing for them. So if we can keep their full army from pressing against us immediately then that is the actions we should try and take. Okay then. If Mikshuan has decided on it, of course we'll be happy to rely on your help. So, thanks a bunch. We also don't want to get tangled up with influence any more than we have to at this point. When we passed through the dragon tribes, our residents got involved in, well, got attacked by them. So with the circumstances being what they are, we really don't want to be attacked by the royal army either. So it's decided. 
she's going to prepare everything and set that into action. So we've accepted her little plan and they send some kind of messenger off to Influs. But um bum bum Right. Fia at the gate, is it? This doesn't look like the gate. Wait, we don't even have a gate background, do we? So anyway. Avaro was headed back to his room when he spotted Fia looking out at the scenery from the castle. Okay, what's up? Hang out alone all out here. Yeah, she was just thinking a little. So, as expected, Avaro's decision has left you a bit uneasy. Well, no. Avaro's decision was actually... It filled her with promise for the future, you know. But that it's going to come to a battle with the Gaidal company. It's been bugging the her. So in this battle that's coming up, Gaidal's allies, allies, which weren't there for the discussion, we're going to draw those people into this, aren't we? Well, as long as they obey Gaidal, then his company's men are, yeah, going to be obstructing us. And anyway, that company feeds on people, taking profit on other people's work and leaving them behind. So even if we weren't personally involved with Gaidal, by knocking him out, then we're helping a lot of people in the end. That's one way to think of it. So she nods and whispers a bit to herself. Yeah, that's right. This isn't just for our sake and the castle's sake, but also for lots and lots of people. So she raises her head and makes a declaration. So, Avaro, let's do our best. In order that Gaidal doesn't get his hands on a taboo weapon like the castle, let's put a stop to him. Yeah, and even in the worst case, if the Gaidal company has some connection to Fia's memories, well, that's a possibility. Although it's a sad circumstance, let's take hope with us as we move. Heh. So she purses her lips tightly and sets her heart for what we need to do. There is no end. So, a certain figure that once you see it, you'll never forget it, comes descending upon the castle. Alright, Katorito, excuse the sudden vi visit. So, what's Kalmerg doing here? So, Kalmerg gets... understands the situation the castle is in at the moment. From here on, they'll be entering the Elves' territory. Yes, that's true, but... 
ならばこの者たちを警護に用いるといい少しばかりだが戦士を連れてきた。Well, in that case, please take these men as and use them as bodyguards. They are just a few, but as warriors, he brought them along. So, behind Kalmerg, I mean, we can't see him because his graphic is filling up the entire screen, but they're behind him, sure. There's quite a few of the Dragon Trams lined up. This is just a few of them. Avaro doesn't get that impression. Are you saying that the Dragon Tribes are also helping to protect the castle at this point? Well, we've already approached this close to the Fuchsia Faith's home base. It's not too surprising to think that something bad will happen from here on. And getting attacked in particular is not a low possibility. And at that time, if Katorito were to be harmed, the Dragon Times would be quite troubled by it. So please use the dragons as a shield and protect yourself. Well, she doesn't plan to make a shield of them. Certainly not in the sense of sacrificing themselves for her. But she is thankful and she'll take command of them here. So, it is pretty likely there's going to be an attack after all. Of course. So, we dragons, as well as the elf tribes, as well as the elves, follow the same Fiusia. So, eliminating the people who plan on in infiltrating the holy grounds is the natural course of action. So that Fuchsia Holy War back in the distant past ended up kind of setting the dragons and elves in well this path they've continued this whole time. And naturally they won't overlook somebody the castle as it's headed towards the god's haze. And much like the way that the dragon tribes attacked us Ahead of us, there are the elves, and they'll probably do the same thing. And for that reason, just in case, they're also going to be deploying messengers to Farareal Learos in order to convey the dragon tribe's will to the elves. So we're telling them about the place the dragons have taken in this. So that's true. The dragon tribes need to show what they're doing or whom they're siding with. And if we show that, it's the elves won't necessarily attack. Alright, Katorita's convinced. In that case, can she leave the selection of the messengers to Kalmerg here? 
任されたカトリト殿の命によって竜族の立場を明確にし時間を稼いでおく Of course, leave it to him And the dragon tribes will announce their intentions and perhaps buy us a little time So, thank you You're a lifesaver Hey Imagine that, a lifesaver after only a couple conversations ago we want he wanted to kill us. Anyway. So we've accepted his little plan and they're going to be sending messengers. And they've given us some more bodyguards for the castle. How nice. Hmm. Despite the fact that that was four different scenes, it didn't take very long, did it? So, three-star mythical beasts. Oh man. Six of them. But I think it's safe to say that Kaurin is now my luckiest character, hands down. Oh. <laughs> so this is multi-attack, which he can get with cold elemental captures. Okay, great. Where are you? Oh yeah, he's totally got free skills. Yeah, he... Do any of these guys have many skills to choose from? Well, Kaurin has quite a few by this point. But as for him, he's got the capture. I'm always got that equipped. And four different random attacks. Ranged attacks, in fact. Well, convenient as far as it goes. Great, more plans. Oh, this is where they give Reishia Paul. So, Reishia is another steel type that I guess we're going to be collecting soon, and they're giving us, like, four or five or, I don't know, ten different weapons we can make from it. No, that's not connected to Reishia Paul. In any case, it's non-elemental damage for most of these, which is convenient sometimes and inconvenient at other times. And more and more and more recipes. Jeez. Darkness Princess Necklace. This is an improvement on the uh, Darkness Fairy Necklace, probably. Where it'll give plus three to my elemental resistance instead of plus two. Ooh. Okay, I... Honestly, I probably should have looked this up. I don't know what that is. Is it a offering box? The kind you'd see in front of a shrine. In any case, it will uh, increase the rate of getting rare drops by 1%. So I'll probably find a place to put that. Hmm. Um, okay. Yes. Yes. I like having lots of potions. Um, you know what, I'm gonna forget about this for a moment. Ah, this is the perfect place. To place that offering... What's it? Here it is. Rare item, 1% more. Great. So. Tomorrow we're going to check out the new map that came in here, actually, in the Dragon Territory. After that we'll take on Gaidal, but tomorrow it's the, some kind of blasted northern mountain range. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.